But we've been compiling a league table for all of our standing hosts while Ken's away. We want score predictions for the three games. We'll get to that. But first of all, if Bernard Dunn was manager, what would his team be? Who would be the 11 players out in the field? Oh, well, he's, you know, and you look at the 11 that he put out, it's his best 11. Mm. Um, would I, you know, probably the only, the only one I'd change would probably be Doyle up front. You know, I think I'd give... Um, Doing that off uh, Stoke and um, Walters. You, you know, John Walters, you like? Yeah, you know, I, I like him. You know, I, I think he's a fantastic player. I think he's he does everything Kevin does, but he's got pace and, and he's scored in goals. You know, you look at the Wolves. I suppose quartet that are involved with the team. You know, um, it's going poorly. Yeah, it really is. It's terrible. Yeah. You know, so um, how you can justify leaving Mister McLean now, um, who's one of the most consistent performers, you know, in the Premiership at the moment. Um, would he be in your team, or just no, the squad? Not in the starting eleven. You'd, you'd take him over. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely. You, you still have Duffy McGeady on the wings. You have yeah. to, you know. Um, Givens and Goal. You've um, O'Shea, Don, who's hopefully going to be fit. Yeah. Um, you've Kelly. Um, I'd play Saint Ledger. Um, middle of the park. You've got Whelan. And uh, Whelan Andrews there. Andrews, Andrews as well, and obviously Mr. Keane up front, and then who you put with Keane? You know, it's, it's the thing. You yeah. Know. Um, how many strikers is he going to bring? That's another question. Yeah, he, it looks like he's hinting at bringing five, which would. I'd be surprised. But that does seem five. like a lot. Yeah. The, I he, would he, be shocked considering the way he plays. Yeah. Unless he's going to use um, Walters as a as a, a winger as well. Or Coxie says he can come out the wing if needs be. Not the quickest. Yeah, though. you know, and he, again going back to the stubbornness, you know, you, you think of I suppose players like. Um, McLean, who could come in, you think of because uh, he could play midfield. He can play anywhere in the middle of the park. Yeah, you know, or, or anywhere on um, on the wing. Even um, you think of Stokes at Celtic. Yeah, um, McCarthy. Yeah. Um, Can't bring them all though. Adrian texted in our midfield duo get a lot of flack, but none of your guests have changed it. Why is that? Everyone's gone for Whelan and Andrews. I think it is his best team that he starts. With. Okay. Um, they do the job that he wants, and they, they play to the system. Mm. Um, he's got a system where he wants him to hold. A, he wants him to hold a position. He doesn't want him to break from it. Um, so yeah, you know, it is the best. He has the best team out there for his system. Okay. Result predictions last night came from Richard Sadler. Here's what he thought. In case you missed it. A two-one defeat to Croatia. Oh, that's not a good start. A two-nil defeat to Spain. Not good. And I just, I've either a nil all or a one-nil defeat. Um, I will. Nil all, come on, be positive and go nil all. So, Richard Sadler's positivity nets us one point out of the three games there. We'll see if Bernard thinks that we might do a little bit better than that. Croatia, first of all. 2 nil us. 2 nil us. Uh, Spain, second game. 2, two nil beaten. 2 nil beaten, which leaves us on three points going into the final game against Italy. 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, nil all draw. And um, we could chew on goal difference. That's what I'd like to hear. The first person who's actually sent us through. And uh, obviously we're going to lose to Spain. But, you know, we might have to just... Um, but the thing is, we will frustrate the hell out of them. Yeah. You know, you could see Trap putting, you know, every player. He'd, need, he'd even, you know, get his, get his subs warming up behind the goal just to make it look like there's more players there. Yeah. Um, he will frustrate them. And, and, you know, you could see the Spanish guys probably... Throwing our hair up in the air and, and giving out like crazy and diving all over the shop. And we, we come here, we could, we could surprise them. We really could and, and hold out for an end yep. as well. Positive enough anyway. Only the second victory that's been predicted so far. The first one over Croatia.